Hello everyone, I'm Ryan and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create multiple copies, uh, clone copies of an object and then try to arrange them in the form of a grid. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a simple square and I'm going to create a plus sign inside that square so we have some sort of an object which has a pattern in it and then I'm just going to create copies of that, of that object so that you know so that you know that you know how the number of copies are created so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to view my grid first and it's always good to be working with the grid so let us see yeah so I can create a square of 10 by 10 pixels so here's my square okay that's pretty neat okay so I'm just going to give it a stroke I'm going to give it a stroke color let's make it yeah let's make it a bit thin let's make it uh, 3.5 that's good that's good and so now let's create a plus sign mm. I'm just gonna draw a straight line between these two points and uh, okay let's create give it a width of 0.5 and uh, then let's give it a color stroke color of something which is visible yeah pretty good okay now let's create a copy of this line and let's duplicate it by pressing ctrl d and then i'm just going to rotate it and now i have a cool little square you see a nice little square with a plus sign between it and a nice little dark red border so i'm just going to create select this object and just going to group them together so that's pretty cool now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this object go to edit go to clones uh, select create tile clones and then you see this dialog opens up where you can specify the number of rows and columns uh, in which you want to distribute this particular object so it's just what happens is it will just going to create uh, multiple copies of this object and it's going to keep them in these many number of rows and these many number of columns so just click on create if you want to change it you can just change it but uh, i'm just going to go with two by two it's going to create and you see it's pretty neat right you have like four two rows and two columns and your object has been duplicated by yourself by itself so it's pretty handy if you have one object and you want to create you know multiple copies and create a lot of pattern of it i mean you may not have to actually convert it into a pattern although inkscape also gives you an option to do that but if you just want to create like three or four copies of your object and have it arranged in a neat little grid i mean this is perhaps one of the best and easiest ways you can do that this dialog also contains a number of other other tabs which you can use to experiment probably i may make a video on it later and you know if i find out something interesting about it i'm, I'm just going to talk about it but for now yeah that, this is pretty pretty much how you can easily create clone copies of your object and uh, distribute them across your document in a neat little grid pattern okay thanks for watching